everybody. Listen, I want to talk about making sales. And ultimately, if you're building a business, sales, profits, as well as impact that comes from you take the sales, you can reach more people, you can just do more when you have revenue to leverage money in a business is the lifeblood that keeps things going. And how do we get that? Well, we get that by offering value to our clients and customers. This statement to make more sales, you need to make more offers is actually a direct quote from uh, Frank Kern. And if you've watched me for a while, I, I mention stuff from Frank Kern all the time. I love his content, what he talks about, about sales, marketing, advertising, he's on point with that. And so if you watch me, check his stuff out as well. You need to make more offers, my friends. You need to just offer more things to people. For you to close more deals, for you to make more money online, on the internet, using the tools of the internet or offline, you need to get in front of the people that are ready to buy from you. You need to get in front of the people that are ready to open up their wallets and give you their credit cards. Now, I know that sounds cliche. I know we make jokes about that all the time, but it's the truth. How are you going to make more sales unless people know about what you have to offer? Many times we're afraid to make offers because of judgments that we've made against salespeople, against marketers. We've made judgments when we're, we're like, oh, I don't want to be like that. So I'm going to swing over here. And many times that leads us to not making any sales. I've done that myself. I've done that personally. I see clients I coach all the time. They do it. And it's, it's no, um, like nothing to be down on yourself about or mad at yourself because that doesn't do anybody any benefit. But we notice, okay, this is something we need to change. Where did this come from? Many times if we've experienced high pressure sales situations that we don't like, we will avoid ever doing what is required to make offers to people in our businesses because we don't want to be like that. Or if we we're okay with that, we just don't know what to say. We don't know how to make offers to people that convert to sales. Right now we're going through a course in my Grow Your Life community called the Internet Cash Flow Formula. And today I'm gonna to talk about that. And I'm gonna talk about targeting your 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 customers. I'm gonna talk about copywriting and email marketing and how to make more offers to people. We've had the largest month of business and sales right now in my business this month. And and that's only gonna to continue to keep growing. How do you make more sales? How are people going to buy from you if you're not making more offers, right? Are they just going to get it through ESP? They're going to they're going to get a premonition or intuition to buy from you? No, they're not. <laughs> so that's part of it is making more offers, getting in front of people more often, getting in front of more people more often. Now, the flip side of this is this is we could make too many offers and that's just off putting, right? Nobody wants to just be constantly bombarded with offers. So there's a dichotomy of value, balance with content, balance with what's freely available, balance with how are we listening and understanding where people are at and how are we serving people? And again, that's what we go through in this. It's a free masterclass that I'm doing in my hashtag grow your life community for anybody that wants to make more sales, more money using the tools of the internet. You notice I made an offer right here in this video for you to join my hashtag grow your life community. You know, I don't need you to go through this but my goal is you know if this gets you results i would love for you to maybe schedule 15 minutes with me for coaching or buy my course social media ads that work where i teach you how to make ads that close sales how to make more offers to people right so for us to make more money in our businesses we have to make more offers to people we have to get in front of people more often we have to serve more people. We have to show people more of what we have to offer. If people don't know what you have to offer or you're putting something out there, but it's not really clear what action you want them to take, what your offer is. I see this as well. People, okay, they have a great product. It's like gold on the shelf. It's like pure gold, okay? But people don't know about it or they think it's one thing when it's not. And so that's why you got to get really 
really clear on communicating with understanding who your customer is. If you don't know who your target customer is, look at what are you selling? What are you trying to get sales with? Who would buy that? What solution is there given to people who buy what you have to offer? Now, who are the people that would buy from you? That's your target customer. And so then what you do is you study that person you 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 study you write down you know what are their interests what do they experience what do they like what do they go through during the day you study your customer more than you do what you're offering to them and then you deliver and you make offers to solve the problems that they have that's ultimately what we're doing with online sales and marketing with any sales and marketing with any business is we study our customers we make offers that solve their problem and then we increase the level of offers. That's where advertising comes in because, you know, you're only one person who can only make one offer at a time. But if you use systems, techniques, tools, you can leverage it up to making offers to hundreds and even thousands of people in, a, in one day, for example. That's the whole reason behind ads. And so then when you test things, when you get really clear on what leads them to a path that closes sales, your ads start paying for themselves. We're running an offer right now that's making $4 for every dollar we spend on ads. Meaning we spend $100 on ads and it brings in $400. We spend 1000 on ads, it brings in $4,000. Would you want to spend $1,000 on ads if it could turn into four times that? Uh, it's a no brainer, anybody would. And so that's what I teach in my course, social media ads that work as well. You need to make more offers to people to make more money. You need to get in front of your target customer. You need to show up daily, consistently, with intention, with intentionality to build relationship. <laughs> Nancy says, I made like three videos, talked about serving since that's my heart and then deleted all of them. So that's a question too. Why, you know, where is our sticking point with that? Why we would feel embarrassed about making sales, for instance. Again, that's what I talk about in the internet cash flow formula. And I break down with people. It's step by step, systematic, day after day after day. We're going through this. We're on day uh, five right now. And we're talking about how to break free from some of these patterns that have kept us in a loop of not making offers to people, not closing sales. Maybe we know what we should do, but we're not taking action. So that's what's mentioned in that course as well. Listen, it's possible for you to make sales in your business. It's possible for you to close more deals. It's possible for you to make the kind of income that you know you can in a business using the internet. You just have to follow a system that works, that is proven, that gets results, and then hold yourself accountable to go through the content and to do what is taught. Many times I see people, they're like, well, it didn't work for me. And I'm like, well, did you do this? Well, no, I tried to change it. I did it. I did this. I did something different. When we try to change what's proven, it's no longer proven. It's turned into something else. And so we have to kind of go through that process. And that's what is required for you to do the work inside of you to learn what it's going to take to close more sales, to make more offers. We have to get past the fear and the worry about what other people would think about us when we make more offers. The judgment that we're worried people are going to make towards us. The worry about what they will perceive us as when I work with business owners all the time, coaching clients, consulting clients, the number one thing that keeps them from getting leads and customers is maybe they're making offers, but they're still worried about how they're perceived by people in those offers. And so that's where systematically we need to work through that. That's where systematically we need to come up with, okay, what's the root of that? What choices and decisions do I need to make today that's different than I've made up to this moment in time in my past to start to make more offers, close more sales, and get more customers in my business? Those are the decisions every single business owner, every single organization needs to make. What are the changes that we need to make? What do we need to take ownership of that we've been doing that hasn't been working up to this moment in time to start to see a different result than we've been getting up to now? And that can be hard. That can be painful to look at it. Ultimately, that's where it's like, ugh, it's like a gut punch, right? <laughs> but 
that pain that we feel being vulnerable enough to open up ourselves to say, listen, I need to change this area and it's going to hurt. We need to be okay with stepping into that, making the changes required if we're going to get a different result. It's just like working out in a gym. It's just like doing, doing a workout. You're going to have pain lifting weights, but that's the growth that happens. Listen, I'm not talking about putting yourself in abusive situations. I'm not talking about putting yourself into situations that would bring harm to you or another person at all. Pain and harm and, and trauma are not always the same thing, but many times we have experiences in our life, in our past, that tell us stories about what interactions and what things mean or could mean. And so we're afraid of duplicating those traumatic experiences. And we bring that right into our business. We bring that right into our sales interactions. And then we don't make offers. We don't ask for the help that we need. We don't, we don't learn new things because of what responsibility there is once we do that. We have to start to make peace inside of ourselves and do the most loving thing that we can for ourselves today. The thing that's going to serve us towards our goals, to move us along a path to reach our goals. And it's going to be something different than we've been doing every single day of our life. But when we do this, when we step out, when we take a risk, when we put ourselves out there, even to the point of getting criticism, judgment, or feeling embarrassed. Yeah, it's going to happen. Your first couple videos are probably going to suck. Your first couple advertisements are probably going to fail. Almost every campaign that I run with ads usually only breaks even. Oh, oh no, it only breaks even. And that's a success to me because I know if I can break even, I can optimize that break even to make even more. Every single campaign, every single client I work with, the first, and anybody that runs ads is going to tell you that your first campaign is probably going to break even that first week. Then you can scale. Then you can bump it up. You can learn from the data. You can learn from the data. And that's what I teach in that course, social media ads that work as well. And so if you're somebody that wants to grow in a business, get more sales, make more money, I'd love to work with you, whether it's you going through that free masterclass in my group purchasing some of my courses or signing up for coaching. I know how to help you start to make more money in your business. I have a system that's not on trial. It's proven. It's worked with the clients that I've worked with over the years, with the companies that I worked for, and with the clients that I continue to work with now, helping generate three to five times revenue, income, return on investment in their businesses. But listen, you have to meet me halfway. You have to start to come to the table at least. And so I've at least made, I made a couple offers in this The question you got to ask yourself is this is what are you waiting for? What have you been waiting for up to this moment in time to take the leap forward, to take a step towards your goals? I know I've been putting out that offer for 15 minute free calls with me for a while, but I know some people are worried about getting a, a hard sales pitch probably is why they don't want to hop on that. Listen, there's no obligation. I'd still love to talk with you. I'd love to hear from you. What are you working through? What are you going through? And how can we work together? Whether it's you listening to some podcast episodes, watching more of these videos that I do every single day to start to make more sales in your business. You have to make more sales in your business for you to grow. You have to get more customers. It's not, there's not, an, it's not optional. So if we're ready to get started, let's do this. Grow your life, everybody, and we'll talk soon.